So welcome back to the 11th week of this course. Um, so we were talking last time about clustering problems, okay? So the basic clustering problem is mentioned right here on the slide. The input is some kind of a social network graph. So you're told, for example, that A and B are friends because there's an edge between them. A and C are friends, B and C are friends. So A, B, and C form a clique in this graph, okay? They're like uh, a group of people who are very closely knit. And uh, given such a social network graph, you want to partition the vertex set into uh, uh, social communities. So it looks like A, B, and C form one community, and then D, E, G, and F form another community. So the output of the particular algorithm that you write should be ideally something like A, B, C is one community, and D, E, F, G is another community. Okay, so if you, in, in, in this problem, you can also give as a parameter how many communities you want to have. So if you wanna have two communities, uh, the ideal output would be something like this. Of course, in real life, you know, you, you don't always give the number of communities because you wanna find out how many community, communities there are. And, um, you know, the answers are not so nice. This is a simple, nice graph. There's only one edge joining the two communities. So uh, the definition of a community is that it's a, a uh, subset of vertices that are very closely connected to each other, uh, very densely connected to, um, uh, to each other, um, and uh, as, uh, which is also very sparsely connected to the other subsets, okay, so to the other communities. So there's very few edges between communities, but there's a lot of edges uh, between the vertices of a single community. So that's kind of like an informal, intuitive uh, notion of a community. And uh, we're looking um, at an algorithm. So last time we saw why standard clustering algorithms like hierarchical clustering and k-means, they don't work very well for uh, social network graphs. So what you wanna do is basically, uh, given such a graph, form two clusters, okay? A bunch of points which are close to each other form a cluster, but it turns out that the traditional standard uh, clustering algorithms, even though they're very useful for many applications, for social network graphs, they don't seem to work well. They could make mistakes and give you the wrong output. Um, and so we've been looking at specialized um, algorithms. Uh, so last time we uh, looked at this notion of the betweenness of an edge. So given a social network graph, uh, the betweenness of an edge uh, denoted BW of E is basically the number of uh, pairs of vertices uh, X comma Y such that the edge E lies on a shortest X Y path. Uh, sometimes um, there can be multiple uh, shortest x, y paths. There can be multiple shortest paths from vertex x to vertex y. And if the edge E lies on, let's say, two of the five shortest paths, then the credit that the edge E gets for the pair x, comma, y would be two over five or 40% uh, or 0.4. So it's not that the uh, between us has to be uh, always an integer. It could be uh, fractional as well. And we saw some examples last time of how to compute the between us of some simple um, uh, examples, the between of edge for some simple examples. And what we see here in this running example is that the edge BD uh, lies on a shortest path from A to D because the shortest path from A to D has to go via this bottleneck edge, okay? Um, uh, in fact, the shortest path from any vertex on the left side to any vertex on the right side must pass through this edge BD. And because of that, uh, the edge BD is on many pairs, uh, is, on, is on many XY paths. It's on many shortest XY paths uh, where X can be any one of the three vertices on the left side and Y can be any one of the four vertices on the right side. And that's why you get three times four is 12 and the betweenness is 12. Okay, and every other edge has a lesser betweenness. And so uh, we looked at, at, the, at the German Newman algorithm last time, which says, if you want to determine what the social communities in a graph are, just keep removing the edges which have the highest betweenness because these edges are likely to be the edges between communities. That's their intuition, okay, for the German Newman algorithm. And just keep removing the edges of the highest betweenness until you disconnect the graph into as many components uh, you have as uh, you, know, you have communities that you wanna detect. So if you wanna detect three communities, you keep removing edges from this graph of the highest uh, between us until you disconnect the graph into three connected components. And those three connected components then would then be your um, communities, okay? So that's the German Newman algorithm. So that's what we have right here. Uh, you compute the between us of all the edges of a graph, remove the edge of highest between us, and then once you remove the edge of highest between us, you're going to recompute the between us of all the edges in the remaining graph. 
And you keep doing this until no further edges remain. And then you output the order in which the edges were removed in step two. So every time you go execute step two, you remove an edge. And the order in which you remove the edges is presented as output. Okay. 